Hey everybody, welcome to Franny Square. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing this wig, The Sheer Elite by Paula Young. So first, let me say thank you to all of you who participated in my poll where I asked, do you want to see wig reviews on this channel or would you rather it be on a separate channel? So far, of the respondents, 75% said keep it on this channel. 25% said they'd rather see a separate channel. So for now, I'm going to post the reviews on this channel and keep them in a separate playlist called Franny's Hair. And I will make sure that I clearly mark in the titles that this is a wig review. So if you're not at all interested in wigs, you don't even have to click on that video. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started on this wig review. So I'm fairly new to the wig journey. And along the way, I have seen so many wigs ranging from $30 to thousands of dollars, having all different types of cap construction, types of fibers, heat-friendly synthetic, not heat-friendly synthetic, human hair. There are so many choices. Where do you begin? So I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to try all different types of wigs, all different types of fibers, all different price points, and then give you my feedback. And hopefully it will help you if you're in the market for a wig. I wanted to try a more affordable brand and I know I've heard about Paula Young and I've seen her catalog and she has wigs that range from $29.99 up. So I decided to try one of her wigs and this is it. It's called Sheer Elite and it has what she calls a whisper light fiber. So it's a thinner hair fiber. You can see it mimics hair. I like the look of that. It's a 100% hand tied cap. And I'll show you that as we go through the cap construction. But what that means is that I can part it anywhere I want. It comes with the part on the left side like this. This color is called, I have to look at my paper, golden brown with caramel highlights and dark chocolate roots. So if you look at it, it is very dark roots. And if you look at the highlights, I like the way they're done. This is actually how I would get my hair done with a chunkier highlight. And the highlights are, you can see in the caramel and even golden blonde family. I, and I really like the way they're done. So I wanted to give you a look at the color out in the regular sunlight, although it's not all that sunny. But just so you could see here, here are the highlights, the very dark roots and the caramel and golden blonde highlights. It has a lace front from temple to temple. So you can see here, the lace front lays along your forehead and it looks like the hair is growing out from your head. Let's see if you can see that there. Now I will probably trim this lace front a little bit to me, I can see it a little bit, but I think if I trim it, maybe even use a little eyeshadow or something there, you won't notice it at all. And you can see the knotting right there at the roots, but it does have a pretty natural look. And if I were to pull my hair back, I would probably do something where I pulled out, you know, a few hairs in front to make it look a little bit more natural. But all in all, I really like the way it looks. Now this wig in particular ranges from $89.99 to $96.99. This color is $96.99. But for a 100% hand-tied wig with a lace front and extended nape, which I'll show you, um, I think it's very reasonably priced. The one thing that I did notice was, even though it's called a whisper light fiber, it's pretty dense. Like you can see around the part there that it's pretty dense. So you may want to pluck some hairs or thin it in some way. Now you can part this any way you like because of that hand knotted cap. I don't know if you can see. Again, it's so dense it's even hard to see the part. Let me take the comb. Maybe I can 
There you go. It should look the same as the part I have right now. Pretty dense though, you can see that. It's a sleek bob. I really like the shape of it. I like the ends. I would probably wear it behind my ear or something like that. I think that looks nice. As far as the measurements go, it's 11 and a half inches long. It says the front is 12 and a half, which seems about right. I am eight and a half inches from my hairline to my chin. So that seems about right. It says the crown is eight and a half inches. I don't see that it has a shorter crown. It seems to me that it's the same length as the wig. Maybe I'm missing something, not really sure. <laughs> this weighs four and a half ounces. And I've noticed the wigs that I've gotten have ranged anywhere from 2.8 ounces up to about four ounces. So this is on the heavier side, although quite honestly, I can't tell the difference. That amount of ounces doesn't register for me. Maybe over time, I'll feel that this is warmer. Although the way the cap's done, it's nice and open and you'll see that. Okay, so let me first give you a look at this from all angles and then we'll go into the cap construction. So here's the front. See that there? My left side. I'm not in my swivel chair, so I'm gonna just have to kind of turn around here. The back, I hope you can see that. My right side. And back to the front. All right, so let's take a look at the cap. Okay, so the front of this cap here, you can see has a lace front, temple to temple, goes to your ear tabs. And these ear tabs, I find to be very comfortable. Same with the nape, it's an extended nape. And I find this material to be comfortable. I have some wigs that have lace here and I find those to be somewhat itchy. This has Velcro adjustable tabs. And this is an average size cap. And I have a petite to average head. My circumference is 21 and a half inches. I have no problem fitting in this and plenty of room to adjust. So I would say if you're a petite or an average, you'd have no problem. I can't speak to a large head, but for petite and average, this definitely works. Right here, this says 81525S4. So this refers to the color, which I told you is golden brown with caramel highlights and dark chocolate roots. It's also known as caramel praline. I think it's just a beautiful color. Here we have a completely hand knotted, 100% hand knotted cap. So that's why you can style it in any direction you like. One note, I didn't mention this before. This is not a heat defiant or heat friendly fiber. So you don't wanna take a curling iron or a flat iron or hair dryer to it. And it has a breathable mesh cap. So all in all for the price, I think this is a really good buy. My only concern would be the density and would I find it too warm over time? So far, I've been fine. It's kind of hard to tell. I have hot flashes here and there, regardless of whether I'm wearing a wig or not. But in general, it feels pretty comfortable. And um, I really love the style. So stay tuned for some styling ideas. enjoyed that review of this wig and I hope that I answered any questions you may have about it. There will be a link in the description below to the wig so you can check it out for yourself. 
If you have any questions at all, anything that I didn't address, please let me know in the comments below or send your questions to my email address at frannysquare at gmail.com. I will get back to you as quickly as I can. And also, if there are wigs or toppers out there that you would like reviewed or wig products, let me know in the comments below. Okay, as always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own, and I'll see you soon.